So there was a Ron DeSantis book event in Leesburg, Florida, and some folks showed up who support Donald Trump. I don't know if they plan to heckle Ron DeSantis, but either way, they were rocking Trump gear, and they were not allowed in the event. So let's go ahead and um, let's listen to this exchange here. Because of what you're wearing? Because they told me to say anybody wearing Trump has to go right now. Oh. Oh. That's pretty telling. They told me to tell anyone who's wearing Trump gear that they have to go. This is from DeSantis' team, right? Presumably. Oh, Free speech. There's nothing that warms my heart more than when fascist Republicans clash with one another. I love that DeSantis is doing this because DeSantis is indeed an authoritarian. So he's not going to change the ways in which he interacts with people just because it's Donald Trump. He's going to be as authoritarian, but it could be that they had this rule because maybe they got wind that Trump supporters were going to show up and heckle him. I'm not necessarily sure. Either way, it's still pretty embarrassing and a very bad look. But I love how uh, Trump supporters are now saying what uh, those of us on the left have been saying for a very long time now. So as uh, The Guardian reports here, Ron DeSantis called a tyrant as Trump supporters barred from book signing. Oh, you'd love to see it, don't you, folks? Far-right activist Laura Loomer denounces Florida governor who is expected to challenge ex-president for Republican nomination. <laughs> when you have these insane dipshits going up against each other, and then it gets this ugly, where Trump supporters are banned from DeSantis events, that's when you know this primary, even though it's not technically started yet or hasn't technically started between Trump and DeSantis, like it's going to get really, really nasty. And I'm I'm here for it. So Ron DeSantis is a tyrant, the far right activist Laura Loomer said after she and other Trump supporters were barred from a book signing staged by the Florida governor. Now, you know how everyone else feels. Now you understand what we've been saying. Yes, the motherfucker is a tyrant, but they only can recognize bad things about Republicans if it affects them personally. They told me to say anybody wearing Trump has to go right now, a uniformed officer said in a video posted online by Loomer. Oh, okay, so Loomer actually posted it. Let's see that real quick. Let's see what her commentary is. Must watch. I'm oh so oh, this was Loomer's people. Okay, this interesting. I'm at the Leesburg, Florida mall outside of Books a Million for my pro Trump rally uh with Villagers for Trump and Ron DeSantis and his staff ordered the police to make anyone wearing a Trump shirt or anyone with any Trump gear leave. DeSantis is anti-free speech. Yeah, you're late to the party on this one. But I think that they probably got wind that Laura Loomer was going to heckle them. And that's why they did this. So perhaps it's not as cut and dry as the video makes it seem. It seems like they knew that they were going to be heckled. And rather than having Trump supporters disrupt the event, then... They just banned them. So it's interesting. And I love that it's uh, culminating in, in this, where now Trump supporters are decrying Santis's anti-free speech behavior. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to the fucking party, dipshits. The Santis people are in there telling me to come out to tell you guys not to be here while he's here, the officer said. Loomer said, Governor DeSantis, he always talks about he, how he's in favor of free speech. So do we have a First Amendment right to be here to rally in support of President Trump? Right, you do, said the officer, but not now. Loomer asked, DeSantis's people told you that we have to leave? The officer said yes. Later, Loomer told the Daily Beast, Police showed up and they told us that we were going to be cited and arrested for trespassing if we didn't leave because DeSantis didn't want us out inside. It shows that he's a tyrant. I will, God, to see Laura Loomer and a bunch of Trump supporters get arrested at a DeSantis event, that would honestly be one of the most beautiful things that I think a human being can ever experience. Like probably even more profoundly life-changing than seeing your child born for the first time. Not that I have experience there, but like I would love to see that. But I mean, there's still time. The GOP primary hasn't really even officially begun yet, so we may see that. Crossing my fingers here. 
Later, Loomer told the Daily Beast, and she's talking to liberal outlets too about this. I fucking love this. DeSantis has not declared a run for presidential nomination in 2024, but it remains the only close challenger to Trump in polling. Pursuing hardline culture war policies, including banning books in schools and restricting the teaching of LGBTQ plus issues in elementary schools, he has carved out a formidable national profile. Um, okay, so this is just going to get into the general dynamics of the GOP primary. But um, yeah, they're right. He is a tyrant. Trump's a tyrant too. But I think that DeSantis is absolutely much more effective at the way he's able to get people to support his fascistic policies. Um, with Trump, there's like this visceral re response by normies because he's just so in your face about how ugly his ideas and beliefs are. But with DeSantis, he kind of cloaks it a little bit better. So normies aren't as put off by him. But yeah, I hope they do find out or learn that he is a huge fucking tyrant. And it's not just that he's a tyrant because, you know, he's not letting these dumbass Trump supporters heckle him. He's a tyrant because of the things that they're doing in the state of Florida. So you have this here. This is uh, courtesy of uh, Mike Wright from Florida Politics. So there's a bill that would ban the Democratic Party. Just that's it. No opposition parties allowed anymore. Like this is quite literally what you see from authoritarian countries where they don't let opposition parties exist. And it, that's not to say that there isn't suppression of political parties in the United States because, yeah, that is indeed the case. Duverger's law, we have a two-party system and third parties do get suppressed. But like what we're talking about here is the Republican Party banning their main opposition. This is completely different. Like this is actually textbook authoritarianism. This is what happens with actual dictatorships. Or if they don't ban political parties, they kind of just uh, defang them so that way they can exist albeit in a powerless state and basically act as a rubber stamp for whoever the dictator is, depending on the country. But uh, Senator Blaze Ingoglia is sponsoring the Ultimate Cancel Act, which would eliminate all political parties that once used slavery as part of its platform. While Democratic Party isn't mentioned in the bill, in Ingoglia... I don't know why that name is like breaking my brain, but I just cannot pronounce it. Ingoglia said that's his target. He's just, he's just admitting it. See, this is, a, this is about them banning racist political parties. And in the United States, there actually is no ban on political parties who uh, preach hate, as is the case in Germany, although you have a lot of figures that are trying to change that. But um, that's, I guess, the rationale here. See, we're, we're against racism here. Us Florida Republicans, we're against racism. So we're trying to ban the Democratic Party on the ground that we are protecting people of color. I love how he's just at least admitting it, though, right? Uh, for years now, leftist activists have been trying to cancel people and companies for things they have said or done in the past. This includes the removal of statutes, uh, statues and memorials and the renaming of buildings, he said. Using this standard, it would be hypocritical not to cancel the Democratic Party for the same reason. So what I'm curious is about um, whether or not this has any support in the legislature. I mean... It could never get passed, but there's so many batshit insane bills uh, that Republican politicians in Florida introduce that you can't not see the effect that DeSantis has had on this party there. Like they're letting their freak flags fly. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they like started coming up with rituals that legalize cannibalism or some shit like that. Like this party is sick. They're freaks. And... This is the DeSantis effect. So, I mean, to see the DeSantification of the National Republican Party, it's horrifying because as insane as they already are, um, I think that DeSantis would be much, much worse. So what I want to see happen, I think the best outcome for the Republican primary is if DeSantis beats Donald Trump. Even if I think that DeSantis is more dangerous than Trump, I want him to beat Trump in this GOP primary because we all know Trump will never accept that. Trump will run as a third party candidate or an independent and he will absolutely tank DeSantis because he will split the votes and play spoiler. So um, I would love to see DeSantis beat Donald Trump. So I'm rooting for him in that limited sense, but for opportunistic reasons, obviously. But I love that Trump supporters are getting a taste of just how authoritarian DeSantis is. Yeah, you know, it's it's fine when he's banning LGBTQ plus books and trying to do um, don't ask, don't tell, albeit for teachers.
try to erase queer people out of public life. But when he does it to us, that's when uh, we have a problem and he's a real tyrant. Yeah. When you acting like a beta, 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 beta,